Hello everyone, this is Silvery Stormwing, and this is my How to Draw Feathered Wings tutorial. As I can't record myself talking and I'm not as good as drawing feathered wings on the computer as I want in, tr in traditional media, I will be drawing it on the drawing pad. So, with feathered wings, how I draw is I start with the shoulder up to the hand joint and then I usually draw feathered wings with that the pronounced backwards curve instead of being straight out. So, with feathered wings, I start out with three layers of feathers. There's this one that's right by the leading edge here. And then there's this one that... has a more pronounced hand, arm, shape, and then there are the primaries. Now with feathered wings, unlike with uh, bat membrane wings, there are different types for uh, speed, gliding, etc., lift, lift, etc., etc. So this one I'm drawing here is modeled after falcon's wings, so lots of speed. So, on each, you have your three layers. There's the pronounced hand, and then the rest of the wing. You don't want your wings to just go, like, have this sharp corner here. You want it to be, have a short feather, and then get into the longest feather. I have this little notch that I like to put to dif differentiate the main flight feathers from these on this layer. It's called primary, secondaries, and secondaries, tertiaries. Alright, and then I start drawing the feathers. Just leave enough guidelines so I can see. And then on this first layer, I don't connect them to anything, I just leave a little line hanging off the edge. The ones before this notch are very square and don't have much of a point as I start getting close to the notch. That changes until primaries are much out and then in, much more pronounced point. And then I repeat the process on second layer, only with these, I connect them to the main, the other layer. And with these, again from notch, they're more square, but in that curved and meet roughly straight across from where they end. Then get 
past that notch and where it meets here is not perpendicular at all as perpendicular as it is with these it's more out and then towards where this starts almost So you only have at least one shorter feather for the longest feather. I don't know why it just looks better. I think it has to do with something with aerodynamics and either cutting the air or lift or both. I'm not sure. Um, start again. And with the primaries, well, this layout on this one, it's a more gradual transition instead of this and then that. It's more. But I still want to have kind of a. This layer, this layer. Transition, so. the wing. You can add another critter onto the end or just leave it the way it is. Etc. Et well, thanks for watching.